In my opinion, the people in this country who deserve our respect the most are the men and women of our military who put their lives on the line to protect you and me. And for any veteran who has endured catastrophic injuries as a result of their service, they deserve even more than our respect, and that's my goal today. Now, my next guest, Scotty, was deployed to Iraq in October of 2004. Just six months later, he was the victim of a suicide bomb attack that left him totally blind. Wow. Tiffany and I first met in sixth grade. We started dating our senior year of high school. I definitely knew that she was the one. We were married in 2003. After graduating from the United States Military Academy, I received orders to deploy to Missoula, Iraq. On April 6th of 2005, I found a suspicious vehicle. And then boom, my world went black. I woke up blind. Depression is something that I fell deep into. It was scary. He was in a dark place. I couldn't see a reason to continue. He didn't want anyone coming in his room. He would even ask, like, why are you here? And I realized that I would need to be the hope for him. I remember this little boy knocked on my door in the hospital room. A boy who I had taught Sunday school at West Point. A boy who I felt still looked up to me, though I was broken. He held onto my hand, and I knew that that was the beginning of my recovery. What gave me the strength to forge ahead was my wonderful wife, Tiffany. We realized that the love that we had, we could also build a family. Let's go boys, let's get in the car. My wife and I have three boys and we love them to death. He has such an awesome relationship with those boys. He knows who they are and they only know a dad who can't see. Ray, this is a hero rock right here. Our love is so much stronger today than ever before and I know he has my back and he knows I will always have his back. Well, joining me are Scotty, uh, his wife Tiffany, and Dr. Brian Walensky, who is going to tell us about an amazing device that is provided free to veterans like Scotty and which has changed Scotty's life as well as the lives of thousands of others who have lost their sight. So thank you all for being here. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you. Scotty, first, I just want to thank you for your service and the sacrifice that you have made for our country. Oh, honor thank and pleasure. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Once you recovered enough to return home, uh, what was the hardest part of adjusting to your new life? I was such an active person, and I did not know how I would continue to live that same life. Uh, and it wasn't until I really understood what importance forgiveness meant, and that's what gave me hope and truly a purpose to live for. Tiffany, I also want to thank you because the families of veterans deserve just as much respect. How did you handle your new life with Scotty with all the changes? It was also a very dark time for me as well. And I just walked into his room every day and spoke truth and hope and life into him and knew that this would be a catastrophic situation that he would overcome. Yeah. Well, Scotty and Tiffany started a family which grew with their three young sons, and you'd think some of the joys of parenthood would be lost for Scotty. Now, Dr. Walensky, you specialize in low vision optometry and consult with the company Orcam that has developed a device that allows visually impaired and blind people to read. Is that right? Yes, the device is called Orcam My Eye, and it's the world's most advanced wearable artificial vision device. It's about the size of your finger, and it attaches to most any eyeglasses. The device <clears throat> will read any text that's in front of you aloud. For thousands of Americans, and even more individuals worldwide who are blind or visually impaired, this has truly been a life changer. Scotty, I understand that you use your my eye to read to your boys. So why don't you show us exactly how this works? So I am very excited to bring out your nine-year-old son, Graham. Graham. What do you say, Graham? How are you, buddy? Good. We'll let you stand right here. Have you heard of a poem, My Shadow? No. Let's see what it says. My shadow. I have a little shadow that goes in and out with me. And what can be the use of him is more than I can. See, 
He is very, very like me from the heels up to the head. And I see him jump before me when I jump into my bed. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Yeah, Gary, thank you so much. Now, I understand that Orca and My Eye can also recognize faces. Doc, how does that work? Yes, it recognizes the people in your lives, giving the wearer a greater sense of control. So, Dr. Phil, we actually have a temporary uh, picture of you in a device, and we'd like Scotty to identify you. <laughs> All right, now in order to pick me out of a group, we've chosen a couple of members of our audience to come up. Uh, so Danielle and Lauren, join me on stage. Dr. Feld. Okay, thanks guys. Y'all go sit down. Um, so Scott, what has my eye meant to you? It's been such a life-changing experience for me. As a CEO of Drexel Hamilton Asset Management, as a public speaker, it gives me the freedom to read documents. But for me, more personally, it's created a new relationship with my boys. You know, it's been wonderful. Yeah. ORCAM, together with the Blinded Veterans Association, would like to brighten the world of some members of our audience. First, I'd like you to meet David, who was stationed in Saudi Arabia during the Gulf War. While loading equipment, David was hit in the head, and he now has only limited sight and cannot read. And next to him, Greg, who was a Green Beret in the Army Special Forces. In 2011, Greg was shot in an ambush, but recovered. Then in 2012, he had a parachute accident, causing a stroke. The combined incidences left Greg with no vision in his left eye and just minimal vision in his right eye. Now, gentlemen, you've heard how the My Eye has changed Scotty's life. Well, ORCAM and the Blinded Veterans Association hope it does the same for you. So each are getting a My Eye device and a lifetime BVA membership. Wow, thank you, thank you. Yeah. ORCAM My Eye is fully funded through the Department of Veteran Affairs eye clinics and is free to qualifying veterans. Hundreds have already received it. For vets who may not qualify for a free device or anyone who is interested in purchasing one, especially if you're visually impaired or having uh, difficulty reading, ORCAM has a limited time special offer just for Dr. Phil viewers. For the next three days, you can save $400 by going to orcam.com and entering the code Dr. Phil. Uh, so Scotty and Tiffany, thank you so much for sharing your story. I just can't even begin to tell you. And David and Greg, thank you guys so much for your service. Uh, I just really want to thank you for that. And a special thanks to Dr. Walensky for being here. Doctor, thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you next time. And with ORCAM, you'll see me next time. <laughs> Scotty, thank you so much. All right.